It's like five of the Moose Million stayers, and this Class 2 handicap for horses rated up to 140 is over four miles and three furlongs here at Ferry House. So a real marathon race for these horses looking to qualify for those Moose Millions finals towards the end of the season. I'm really hoping that my feet doesn't cut out like it did just as we went into the final furlong in the last race. Apologies again for that, folks. We've got Shamadal Fandom for Thomas Rogers, Enemy Flight for Darren Thompson, Moonsail Tavern, Davy Ladd, Victoria Heights for David Hooley, Dictate Ross for Martin Leadham, Big Girl of Aintree, Joshua Sutherland, Inga Bird, Darren Thompson, Kendish Craig Beckwith, Silver David Hooley, Charlie Two for Thomas Rogers, Da Vinci Paul Rhodes, Zobida Cezanne for Davy Ladd, I'll look to jump better today, Compact Bonnie James Shea, Superior Ninja Derek Hinton, Sonic to Dream James Shea, Blue Penny Martin Leadham, Bridgewell Leader John Morgan, De Bansherman Alex Cherry, Endor Beginning Craig Beckwith, Elevated Splore Craig Allen, and Linka Solzen for Graham Clutterbuck. And off and running under brighter, bluer skies here at Fairy House. The rain has stopped falling, which is great news. And Big Girl of Aintree goes out into the early lead for Joshua Sutherland. Uh, has finished placed in the top five both starts to date. Um, I'll be aiming for the Grand National surely later in the season. And maybe pecked on landing a little bit there, Big Girl of Aintree, but got over the fence well enough. And uh, Blue Penny in behind similar and not on landing for Martin Leadham but it's end or beginning an enemy flight two of those horses in the same dark blue silks with the white sleeves uh, in first and second as they come over the next flight enemy flight just landed in front and a couple of lengths back to big girl of entry who took off at that last fence quite far ahead of it but managed to get over it well enough again for Joshua Sutherland that one in the black and red hooped silks racing on the inside of Kentish superior ninja just in behind those in the pink and um, black starred silks for Derek Hinton on the outside of that one is Bridgewell leader dictate Ross and Sonic to Dream as they all get over that next flight we've lost lost the uh, at the rear of the field and uh, that one's out and uh, just having a look at the other horses towards the rear of the field, we've got Zobeda Cezanne, who's fallen on both starts today. He'll be looking to put in a clear round of jump in and a bad mistake from Glenn, Graham Clutterbuck's horse there, Lilka so Linka Solzen. Uh, and that one's just in front of Compact Bonnie, who remains the back marker. So it's still enemy flight in the lead from Endor Beginning and Kendish just in behind those. So three horses now all racing in the same silks. Kendish in third place is one for Craig Beckwith. And enemy flight at the front is uh, one of Darren Toms' horse, horses racing in different coloured silks today. So they've got still way over three miles left to travel here. And it's enemy flight and end of beginning having a good battle up front. Kendish is just in behind those. A oh, slightly awkward jump there from the grey horse dictate Ross, my co-commentator Martin Leadham and Big Girl Aintree is one that's just travelling strongly still on the rail for Josh Sutherland alongside Bridgewell leader Superior Ninja Sonic to Dream just in behind those Da Vinci racing widest on the course for Paul Rhodes and that one's not yet to complete a race as well so far this season so a few of these have put some sketchy rounds of jumping in uh, in previous weeks but we're all doing pretty well so far today but they've still got a good 20 or so fences left to jump and that uh, quality of jumping will really be put to the test as will their ability to stay and last a real stamina test here on uh, ground that is around the soft side of good here at Fairy House. So looking back towards the rear of the field, there's a good 30 or so lengths from start to finish at least, and in Linka Solzen and Inga Bird remain the bat markers alongside Compact Bonnie, Moonsail Tavern and Zobida Cezanne, both racing in those blue and purple striped silks with the yellow hat, racing alongside Elevated Support, who has the rail for Craig Allen in the red with the white sash and the yellow hat, but it's still the three horses in the blue and white up at front. Uh, Kendish got in a little bit close to that fence but the horse was able to still get up and over it really impressively uh, corrected the jockey there the horse I think and end or beginning uh, is the one in second place over towards the rail just in front of enemy flight dictate Ross is inched close to the grey horse on the wide outside and the red silks as they get over the next flight we've lost elevated support at the rear of the field so Craig Allen's runner is out of the Moors Millions and uh, Caring Emma for in the previous race never landed a blow either. So some disappointing Moose Millions races this week 
for that top trainer but it's still Kendish in the lead from end or beginning enemy flight back in third as they come to the next fence all the front three over it safely just looking towards the rear of the field they all navigated it safely as well so we're still all but two standing left in this race as we are inside the final three miles and coming to more towards two and a half miles in fact at the moment so it's Kendish that has a lead of a couple of lengths to end or beginning on the inside of enemy flight dictate Ross has now got the rail the grey horse for Martin lead him on the inside of Bridgewell leader superior ninja just nudged along for a couple of strides there racing on the outside a big girl of entry as they come to the next again those front uh, three all jump it really well as did superior ninja put in a really impressive eye-catching leap and just caught up a couple of lengths on the two horses in front of that one Bridgewell leader and dictate Ross linker souls and Inga bird compact Bonnie still towards the rear of the field and linker souls is the one that's becoming increasingly detached at the rear of the field but the jockey's not exactly hard to work or has just been nudged along for a couple of strides there just being ridden very patiently at the moment out at the back for Graham Clutterbuck so 17 and a half furlongs left to go and they have now jumped and navigated half of the obstacles uh, and Kendish still has the lead over end or beginning enemy flight dictate Ross Bridgewell leader just traveling strongly in behind these as they come to the next fence again Kendish didn't take off that far in front of the flight but managed to get up and over it without touching a twig a really good jumping round so far from Kendish end or beginning enemy flight still just in behind and tracking this leader as they come to the next fence the front three jump it really well again big girl of entry and superior ninja perhaps a little bit slower over that than the front three Bridgewell leader dictate Ross still traveling really well as they come past the stands and what will be the winning post in a circuit's time so they've just got one more circuit here to go at fairy house almost called it entry there but it's because we've got one horse in here called big girl of entry that very much has entry on the mind for joshua sutherland it's come into the season with high hopes of heading to entry for the grand national and can it call qualify for or get some more uh, prize money from the Moors Millions here on the way. But won't want to be getting too high a rating on the way to entry, that's for sure. As they all come over that next flight of fences, there was a bad mistake towards the rear of the field from uh, Zubeda Cezanne, uh, who, as we know, has fallen both starts to date, but has managed to keep the partnership intact, jockey and horse there, um, but will need to improve the jumping. And you can see Linka Solzen is a good 35 to 40 lengths, surely, behind this leader, Kendish, as they come over the next flight. And in uh, Linka Solzen's really going to need to start making that move and trying to rejoin the pack with only 11 and a half furlongs to go. It looks like it's never really been on a going day for Graham Clutterbuck here. So it's Kendish that has the lead still from enemy flight. End of beginning is now closer to the horses in fourth and fifth. That's Dictate Ross and Bridgewell leader than it is the leader. And that it remains Kendish as we start swinging right handed with just over 10 furlongs left to go. It's Kendish that has the lead for Craig Beckwith uh, from Enemy Flight, Darren Thompson in second and in third is End or Beginning. That one's Craig Beckwith's horse as well. So we've got two horses for Craig Beckwith uh, in the front three at the moment, uh, separated by Darren Thompson's Enemy Flight, who's hijacking and running in the very similar silks, trying to confuse your commentator here. Bad mistake from Kentish. That's the first time that one's made a mistake in the race so far. And that's allowed Enemy Flight to just push on and open a length or two advantage of uh, over Kentish. But Kentish is now going to start creeping closer again. Endo beginning is now being passed by Dictate Ross and joined by Bridgewell leader as well as they come over the next fence. Much better jump from Kendish there and it allowed that one to regain the lead over enemy flight as they start to swing right-handed and we're well inside the final mile here at Fairy House for this second Moors Millions race. And things really start to unfold here. Linker Solzen is still way detached out the back and isn't going to be involved here today as they come over the next. Really good jump from the front two. Uh, big girl of entry didn't get too high over that but it's stealthily making progress into this race and you can just see those black and red silks and now traveling powerfully up into third place as we're into the final six furlongs Kendish is now getting to work the jockey's going to try and put these under pressure enemy flight is now going to start being niggled along to try and close the gap as is big girl of entry the response from this chasing pack isn't looking immediate at the moment and it, Kentish if anything is starting to pull away but you can now see the grey horse dictate Ross Bridgewell leader in the light blue they're starting to edge ever closer 
Zabeda Sazan is now starting to move forward menacingly on the wide outside in the blue and purple and we're inside to the final four furlongs it's Kendish is about to have a challenge laid down with from Big Girl of Aintree and Kendish maybe felt those horses chasing him behind as it didn't get over that flight particularly well and Big Girl of Aintree is now looking in real danger as is Zabeda Sazan Bridgewell leaders trying to stay on really well in the light blue Dictate Ross still there on the wide outside compact Bonnie a long time uh, a horse from the back of the field has now made some really good progress as is Inga Bird Moonsail Tavern Superior Ninja Victory Heights all trying to get involved but inside the final two furlongs Sabeda Cezanne hit the lead but didn't get over that one as well as Big Girl of Aintree and Bridgewell leader the long time leader Kendish looks like it's run its race and it looks like the winner's going to come from this front three so Sabeda Cezanne a faller on both starts today has hit the front and gets over that fence really well into the final furlong Sabeda Cezanne has the lead of a couple of lengths over Bridgewell leader Big Girl of Aintree back in third for Joshua Sutherland compact Bonnie Inga Bird staying on but as we come to the line nothing's going to catch Zabeda Cezanne and what a way to respond after falling on both starts it, what a way to respond comes here to Fairy House for a marathon Moors Millions for David Robertson and puts in a pretty good round of jumping I only saw one real mistake from the horse and it was about six or seven flights out had plenty of time to regain itself and it powers home stays on really well and wins the Moors Millions stay as leg five for David Robertson John Morgan's uh, Bridgewell leader who is also uh, only uh, completing for the first time here after a fall on its first start runs really well into second big girl of injury a good race another solid placed effort for joshua sutherland compact bunny fourth inga bird completes your top five for darren thompson but the winner zabeda Cezanne off the mark for the season and qualifies for the moors millions finals